Hi, I'm Penny Hill with EFT, Tapping for Stress Relief, and the creator of the Habits of Happiness courses. So the question today is, is being happy or pursuing your own happiness a selfish endeavor? And for a lot of reasons, the answer is no. But let's start by just, just defining what we mean by selfish. So I think we can pretty much agree that a basic definition of selfishness is someone who looks out for themselves either exclusively or at the expense of others. But this is not the behavior of happy people. Happy people are more kind, more generous, confident, sociable. And so I'm going to lay out just a few reasons why working towards your own happiness is important and not selfish at all. So the first thing is that happiness is contagious. People's happiness depends on the happiness of others with whom they're connected. We get happier when we are surrounded by happy people. And when we are happy, we help raise the happiness of those around us to at least three degrees. So when we're happy, our friends are happier, their friends are happier, and our friends' friends' friends are happier. So we are lifting up our little part of the world when we're working on living and being happier ourselves. So number two, happy people take better care of themselves and others. One needs to ensure your own self-care first before being capable of caring for others. Once an individual has ensured her own self-care, she's more able naturally to extend care to others. This is obvious, right? We can't give to others what we don't have. Unhappiness and stress are depleting emotions. So the more stressed we are, the less energy we have. The happier we are, the more energy we have. So when you're in a state of distress, you really don't have that extra energy to take that extra moment when the kids come screaming up to you and going, I have an emergency, which, you know, for you, if you were in a happier state, you could just take in stride. But when you're stressed and you don't have that extra energy, you're more likely to snap at the kid or snap at the spouse or even worse, a coworker or a boss. Happiness gives us more resilience. It gives us more wiggle room and bounce so that we're not so rigid and brittle. Happy people are more generous, kind, and healthy. But we have a cultural bias towards praising those who give selflessly of themselves to others, even to their own detriment. We love to martyr givers, and especially women. But is that a good example, really? Isn't it better to be a kind, loving, generous, resilient presence in your own family's life? So I think happiness or taking care of other people is a false choice. Between being selfless and contributing to society and being happy and contributing to society, there's really not a choice because the science shows that we're better at it when we are happier. So three, there's a lot of concern these days 
And I'll warrant, unfortunately, that no matter when you are watching this video, it will still be true. That there is a lot of worry about the state of the world. There are urgent environmental concerns. There are wars and civil unrest here and abroad and a rise of fascism again, both here in the United States and abroad. So does focusing on being happy take away from our legitimate concerns? One meta-analysis actually concludes the opposite. Many of the characteristics observed in happy people optimism, energy, social engagement, originality, altruism, likability, productivity, good health, are the very characteristics that could help them improve the conditions of theirs and others' lives. So I talk about happiness as being the engine of change, both for ourselves personally and in the world. And happy people, so this is either three again or four maybe, happy people are better at relationships. Too often we lead with our wounds rather than with our hearts. People say and do things that trigger less than loving, less than happy responses from us. Some people, it's true, are born with a happier set point. But for those of us who weren't not all is lost. Happiness is a choice, and it's a set of happiness, happiness, excuse me, it's a set of habits, and both of those are things that we can choose. Happy people are optimistic. That means they can see the best in others and choose the best options for themselves and others. And some naturally happy people just like people. But again, for us who are not so naturally happy, I think it's also if we have become happy that we've taken time to take care of those wounds and we're less likely to have those as our come from and more likely to have our heart and at least our peace as our come from. Happy is fluid, stress is brittle and rigid. Stress is always keeping you on the edge of reactivity. A happy parent is less likely to yell first. And happy people have that moment of grace where they can take a breath, manage their emotions in the moment, and draw on that higher, happier, more resilient state of mind that allows you to go, okay, that was hurtful, but did you really mean that? Or just to not react and, and yell back at someone. So that's three or four reasons there why working on your own happiness is a good thing and it's not selfish at all. It improves the lives of those around you. It gives you more focus, strength, and clarity and health to do good work in the world to improve the lives of others. So put your mind at ease when you're working on your own happiness, which is, I think, reason enough, right? But if you need a reason, it's also good for you, your family, your friends, and the world. Take care. I wish for you a joyful heart. Be well.